It's Tuesday. Uh, on this day, there was a withered fig tree that is talked about in scripture. Now, th that's interesting because yesterday we see a, a situation where Jesus actually curses the fig tree. Uh, on the One day later, they walk by the same fig tree and it's completely withered. There's a lot to be said about that. Uh, the fig tree traditionally in scripture would represent the nation of Israel. And so when there's a withered fig tree, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, what is that saying about the nation of Israel? What is that saying about the relationship between the Lord and the nation of Israel? It was also on this day, not just the withered fig tree, but it was also the day that Jesus would uh, encounter the Pharisees, the religious leaders of the day. And he would say things like, you're, you're a whitewashed tomb or your mouths are like open graves. He had so much judgment for the religious leaders. In this moment, what he is saying, both by the withered fig tree and by the criticism of the Pharisees, is he is saying, who are you? And yes, you may have followed the Lord at one time in your life, but you have strayed so far from a worship and devotion to God. Uh, your, your practice of religion has become much more about your pride than the humility of actually following God. You know, when we think about that ourselves, we can drift away from following God as well. Uh, remember when you gave your life to Jesus. Remember when you first began to follow him, how excited were you about coming to church on Sunday and worshiping the Lord and reading your Bible and experiencing all that God had for you? Is it the same today? If you've missed out on that, if you've, if you've moved away from that, move back to Jesus. He's waiting for you with open arms. Don't be the withered fig tree. Don't be the religious legalistic Pharisees. Instead, receive the love of Christ. He's waiting for you with open arms.